I'm getting ready for a major prospecting trip in search of gold and gemstones 1200 kilometers away from home and this will be my home away from home so it should have all the creature comforts a home should have be it on a smaller scale The first and most important things I need is a fridge, freezer, which I mainly use to keep my food frozen since I'll be in mostly remote locations. This DC plug provides for my power needs via dual battery system installed in the car. In the past, we used to charge the auxiliary battery with a solar panel. And every couple of days, we turn on the engine and keep go. it running Off for a few go. minutes to top up charging the battery. This can be a little disconcerting because in a few occasions, we did end up with a flat battery. It's not really a problem because it only took 15 minutes to hook up the solar panel and charge the battery just so we can start the car and take off. My husband passed away a year ago, so I'm going solo on this major trip. I want to be able to turn the car on and be off in a few seconds notice for whatever reasons. This all powers R1500, weighing in at 16.7 kilogram or 36.8 pounds, will provide my power needs to prevent draining my car battery. The R1500 has capacity of 1152 watt hours of lithium iron phosphate battery, which is known for its high safety and long lifespan and a safer energy storage that is better in handling high temperatures. The unit has 3,500 cycles of charge and discharge. If you were to use it every day for 365 days, that's almost 10 years of use. But after the 3,500 cycles, it won't be able to charge to full 100% capacity, but it will still charge at 80% capacity, which means you have more years of use out of this unit. And for peace of mind, it has five years warranty. All Powers R1500 is an 1800 watt portable power station with a 3000 watt surge. So any device that is under 1800 watt is suitable for this power station. This heater which operates on 1800 to 2000 watt which is too high for the R1500 limit of 1800 watt. This one which I will be taking on the trip with me is 550 to 600 watt. This bigger heater I could probably take with me but it's just a matter of adjusting the thermostat to just about there I guess is 1800. Let's have some fun. And how about we try and trip the switch so we're gonna plug this and let's turn it on there you go now we turn that one on and we are going to slowly slowly it's coming on what do you see it's still cold let's go up it up. Okay, it's not registering. Nothing is happening. Zero. And it says 10 days to go. Let's go to the first level. There you go. 944, 947. And let's see if we can max it up. So it's 951 sitting there, 75%. Let's go bring it up. Bring it up to there. I'm still going to leave it on that setting on the thermostat 1884 how about if we lower it and then what's gonna happen 1879 and then we go up 1880 full I'm on full 1881 it's not tripping <laughs> oh, I'm impressed. 1879, 1880. Are you going to go 1900? So maybe this thing is only good for... <laughs> they overcompensated of 2000 watts. So maybe it's just 1880 watts. There you go. But nevertheless, it's still over what the R1500 is assigned to do. So I'm very, very, very happy. I'm impressed, all powers. There you go. It did turn off. So... Oh, no. We unplug it and we're gonna go on the side here. Yes, we tripped it. Wow. There you go, and we press. Okay, you might not see this, but I think, there you go. Did I error two? So 11, there you go, error two again. So we just press it again. I don't know how many seconds I have to press this. Done. 
Okay, now <laughs> we check the manual. I just went to get the manual and the error has disappeared now. So I think we're all good again. So to test this, the overload protection works. Now let's go use this one now. This is the lower. <laughs> this is fine, hang on. Now we use the, the 550 to 600 watt heater. We plug it in and turn it on. There you go, she works, 477 watt, fantastic. Marvelous old powers. This unit has four 240 AC output port, 1800 watt max and 3000 watt power surge. Two USB-C port at 200 watt max, two USB-A port at 36 watt max. A 12 volt, 120 watt max output cigarette lighter plug, two wireless charger, 30 watt max. Also has two extra battery port for capacity expansion in case you need more power than the 11 5200 watt hours R1500 capacity. These two ports here are what it's for. Please note that the rated 1800 watt maximum output doesn't change. You still can't plug in a 2000 watt device. There are four recharging options. First, you have to download the app through your phone and you can control the charging speed. AC fast mode is 1500 watt and can charge from 0 to 100% in 45 minutes. The standard mode at 1000 watt, the mute mode, quiet mode basically, is 400 watt input. With the app, it's also convenient to monitor what's going on with the unit and will make it easier to turn it on or off. <music> When All Power sent me the R1500 a month ago to try out, they also sent me a SP033 200 watt solar panel, which is a polycrystalline solar panel built into a carry case with convenient handle with zip up cable storage in a convenient net weight 6.3 kilograms or 13.9 pounds. These cables also came with the solar panel. An MC4 to DC5521, five charging adapters, a 1.5 MC4 to XC60 cable, which is what I'm going to use to hook up the R1500. When unfolded, it measures 2230 by 650 millimeters or 87.8 by 25.6 inches by 650 by 515 millimeters or 25.6 by 20.3 inches. The back panel has a fold out stand to make it easier to adjust the angle for better sun exposure. It's been a cloudy day all day, so I'm not expecting miracles, but you never know your luck in the big city. Okay, so that's 139. Are you gonna go up or are you gonna go down? Because the sun's out again, and then see, there you go, you can see the sun, and then now, just blocking this because you can't really see. Oh, 156, look at that, 157. Oh my goodness, 156, so are you gonna stay on 155? So hang on. Okay, I'm feeling very Olympic today, so how about let's make it go faster. Now let's put in the AC plug and see what happens with AC plus solar together. So I got this on the fast charge on or fast mode on my phone. So it's going up, going up, 630, 89, 714, 737. Keep going, baby, 800. 800. 35, look at that, 9. Okay, you're gonna do a thousand? Yes, easy, peasy. 13, almost 14, 15, come on, 15, 15. Yes, 15! Side note, this has been bugging me. I think I just figured it out. Why name the unit R1500 when it can be used for 1800 watt? Maybe it has something to do with the input max limit of 1500 watt on the fast mode charging. 
R1500 also has a car charging capabilities and this is the cable that I have. Well, the cable or car charging cigarette lighter plug cable doesn't come with it. So, so happened that I have one lying around. So, I'm going to plug this onto the side and we turn the engine on. Remove the cigarette lighter plug there. And I'm using the solar panel plug on the side as well. There you go, so you can see. And so, I'll plug it in to my cigarette lighter here, which... Okay, so we'll see if it's charging. There you go, 16 watt, 21 watt, 37. See, going up, there you go. Beautiful. So while I'm on the road, on the road again, and I, I can't put the solar panel out, then I can use my cigarette lighter to charge up my all powers of 1500, so 96. I think it goes up to 120 watt input. So R1500 also supports simultaneous charging. So for now, we're going to charge this. Okay, we're going to plug it in. And there you go. She's on. So how much input? 181. So, to support simultaneous charging, I'm going to do a test as well. So, while it's being charged, you can also use it. So, I'm going to use my little heater here, which is the 500 watt. I just round it off. Anyway, we plug it in. So, so it's go, coming in at 12.58. That's on fast charge still, I think. So if I turn this, hang on, on. So, okay, so it's plugged in. Turn this on. There you go. So now I'm gonna turn you on. Okay, so it's going down. So it was 1500 watt before. And now it is coming down and it's drawing output is and its output is 567 there you go oh nice and warm so it's getting cold in here so there you go so you can see that while charging it's also discharging so this also supports UPS or uninterrupted power supply. This is for devices that needs to be plugged in all the time. For example, medical apparatus or life support system or even your PC while editing videos. I certainly don't want power outage when I haven't had a chance to save my work. During blackout, this will automatically switch to the battery power of the R1500 within 15 milliseconds. So please note also, if you have to do this, only use one device at a time to avoid the overload protection switch activation. These are the devices I am going to be taking with me on my major prospecting trip. I am on top of the world! After playing around with the R1500 this past few weeks, I now know that I can rely on this unit to supply my power needs. If you're interested in purchasing the R1500, below this video in the description box is a discount code LKZ10, which gives you a 10% discount. So just follow the link and it will take you to the All Powers website. So after going on my last trip and using the sandwich press, I can now never go camping or prospecting without taking the sandwich press. It's just so handy to cook my bacon and eggs and my pork chops and my hamburger and also other stuff. Vegetables, I can even cook with that one. So I can't live without this one now. So it has to 
really come with me then go lock that up and this mini stove which is just so cute look how cute that is because I'm mostly boiling some water basically to steam a lot of the food that I have or maybe cook some fried rice or something like that which for one person you don't need much and this one is also of course that is 420 to 500 watt so which is suitable for the R1500 it can handle this one so also what self-respecting woman goes camping without hair dryer <laughs> even out in the bush I need my hair dryer and in the past we have to take the generator so as to supply power also this kettle 1100 watt kettle this is a collapsible one this has been very 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 useful we have a lot of use on this one when we used to take the generator before and then now this will be the only one I'm going to be taking I'm not even going to take the ordinary stove kettle that we have because I only have a small cooker anyway so and plus my water is going to be boiled with using this kettle now I also have camera so I got a couple of cameras uh, phones I got two phones that I have to take with me also use that camera needs charging my microphone needs charging also this camera I'm using to film this and then also lighting very important I need this light this is so good so I can just hang that up and then light up the whole area and any nasty yaoi or something like that would come along then they're gonna get scared off and then also this torch which is very 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 handy oh sorry I forgot to show you my little toys so you can see now, this is so good. I love, I'm so in love with this. I can't live without this. <laughs> and then on the side, look, it also does that. <laughs> so anyway, multifunctional, but of course it has to be charged. Now, last and not least, of course, I've got the laptop and the other bits and pieces that I'm not even going to show you anymore. This one, only on this trip, since uh, my husband passed away, uh, the only thing I did not take before was the sandwich press, of course, and also the stove. We used the gas stove all the time. We never took a heat. Oh, we did took a heater as well. Sorry, yeah, we, a bigger heater. The bigger heater, we took that for the caravan. Uh, using the fuel generator or gas generator. Now this one as well, so I like making boba tea and also <laughs> some crushed ice with mango or coal and evaporated milk. That's what I like. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you on the next video.